as I shout the name of Jesus, I want you to shout a thunderous amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that every spirit of infirmity that has followed you to this ground or follow those that you are standing in for by the power that raised Christ from the dead we declare that it gives way now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name 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 Blood diseases be healed in Jesus' name. Migraines be healed in Jesus' name. Bone conditions be healed in Jesus' name. Any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God, we uproot it right now. Right now in the name of Jesus. And in the same vein, I speak over everyone here that has been in any kind of demonic captivity we announce your exodus now in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions be healed ear conditions be healed heart conditions be healed genotype issues be corrected Fertility issues be corrected. Failed organs receive brand new organs. In the name of Jesus Christ. And if there is anybody you know who has been given any death sentence, as far as sickness is concerned, maybe suffering from cancer or suffering from whatever, in the name of Jesus, we speak life to them. We declare that they will not die in the mighty name of Jesus now I stand in faith with the fathers here represented over Abel Kuta over the Southwest and I decree and declare the role you have to play in the global revival the role you have to play in the continental revival across Africa the role that you have to play as far as the revival in Nigeria is concerned obtain grace to play it with honor in the name of Jesus Christ I declare over someone here your bishop could not be taken by another all those who have been sent as watchmen to prepare people in the place of priesthood obtain grace to be effective in your assignment the communicators of doctrine who have been given the eye of the spirit to dissect scripture and bring understanding to the body receive grace to be effective the pastors that have been mandated to take care of God's flock in the name of Jesus I declare that you will be effective the apostles and the prophets that have been mandated to coordinate the spiritual activities across their predefined territories receive grace to serve God's purposes with humility in the name of Jesus the kingdom financiers that have been mandated to be empowered by wisdom and to supply resources that make for this coming revival obtain grace to be effective in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray for all within the land of Abel Kuta it will be a tragic thing if this kind of prophetic and apostolic conference is happening yearly and then it does not translate to the spiritual advancement the socio-economic advancement of the people within the land therefore I lend my voice with every man of God here we pray first for every church in Abel Kuta regardless the denomination regardless the platform provided they name the name of Christ and contribute towards the building and the maturing of the saints be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus be empowered afresh in the name of Jesus we pray for every business 
and every economic structure that has been put in this land to provide value and better the lives of people in the name of Jesus the wisdom and the favor you need to thrive and remain receive it in the name of Jesus we pray for this ministry that have so graciously provided the platform year in year out for us to be blessed in the name of Jesus we stand in faith with the angel over this ministry and we declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that that which comes upon men who give their all to the program of God let it come upon this ministry let it come upon God's servant let it come upon all who walk with him in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me for all who have given for this program financially in terms of prayer I got to understand that there was a prayer team that was put up specifically for am I right on that men who kept praying you didn't just come people prayed that God will clear the atmosphere for you to come the Bible says a worker is deserving of his wages we pray in the name of Jesus for everyone who is part of the prayer team and the workforce here of ABM may the God of heaven who is the rewarder of men reward you speedily in the name of Jesus let me declare that everyone who is here present you will not be absent by next year's program we have two more months to the end of the year this is where the waster is unleashed over destinies there is a spirit called the waster you will just hear that someone shouted my head my head and just died let me speak over your life if there is any plague of death over you to say you will not finish this year with honor and with dignity i command death to pass over you now death passes over you now and in the name of jesus as part of our spiritual and corporate responsibility we lend our voice in this conference to pray over the future of nigeria we decree and declare father arise over this nation february is the election we have just a few months in the name of jesus we decree and declare every darkness to tie down this nation and put it under siege we stand as priests upon the watchtower and we declare the purposes of god for nigeria must be established in the name of jesus finally let me pray a fire i have learned that you do not have anything valuable if the spiritual substance that makes up your life is low or not there no matter what else you have if you lose touch with spiritual reality you have lost touch with everything therefore i pray for you from the depth of my heart your hunger for god your hunger for the things of god your hunger for the place of the altar your hunger for the word of god your hunger for consecration and walking in uprightness and holiness and righteousness may that great you will be a believer in word you will be a believer in deed you will be a believer in lifestyle you will be a believer in character and for your family members that you left wherever you left to come here in the name of jesus because you are here on this ground we send angels on assignment by the word of the lord to bring to pass that which is needed in their in their lives in this season in the name of jesus christ jesus level spiritual illumination i am tired of ignorance i am tired of shadow boxing not having spiritual intelligence someone pray open your mouth and pray the intelligence to be able to navigate my way around life and command the victory that befits royalty show me oh god open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things from out of your law someone is praying those following online make sure you pray we are asking the lord 
to grant us illumination by the Spirit. Illumination by the Spirit. Illumination by the Spirit. Someone is praying. It says, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. But I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. It says, you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. Hallelujah. The last prayer point I'm going to give you and then we'll wrap up for today. Please look up. The Bible spoke about a strange man in the Bible called Uzziah who became a very prosperous and a mighty man. And the secret behind his might was that Uzziah set himself to seek the Lord. He says, and for as long as he sought the Lord, the Lord made him to prosper. There is a relationship between seeking the Lord. Seeking the Lord is proof of humility. It's proof that you are incapacitated and you do not know enough. To seek the Lord. The psalmist said, as the deer pants after the water brooks, so my soul. Many of us, your, your passion for God is going down. God is showing you in dreams. God has used the prophetic to show you. God has used experiences to show you. Something is going wrong with your spiritual life. Don't wait until it goes down to the point where you become a victim of any assault of darkness. Last prayer point. Fan my passion for you. Fan my passion for the house of God. Fan my passion for spiritual things. Someone lift your voice and cry to God. It is not compulsory, but if you are serious with God, cry to God from the depth of your heart. Fan the embers of my spiritual life. Fan it back to flames. Take away laxity and unseriousness from my life. It says, return to me. And I will return to you. Is someone praying? Fan my passion for you. Fan my passion for your house. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. That the house of the Lord would not be something you would drag yourself to. And when you go and sit down, you're just waiting for service to end. So you go back. It's with delight. The psalmist said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in your house. hallelujah listen let me tell you this when your passion for the house of God goes down I assure you that the platform for your growth has also been destroyed it says when I came into the sanctuary then understood I the house of God is a place of understanding hallelujah when the devil wants to destroy you he will make it look like a burden to come to the house of God I am very touched and humbled when I hear that people from as early as 8, 9, 10 are already here and they sit patiently till the service, praying, studying, their Bibles are not being distracted. Let me encourage you, God is no man's debtor. This God you see, he will visit you in a way that it will be evident to all. Are you learning? I just returned from a trip and then came here and I could see my people they were just looking at me and I'm sure that if they had their ways they would just say apostle you stretch yourself please sleep but even the devil knows that for as long as I am breathing now <laughs> and it is not because God has made me head over this vision by the privilege of God's grace it is my passion for the house of God. If you do not have passion for the house of God, I am telling you, it's an attack. You are either backsliding or it's an attack or both. You, you fight it. Passion for the house of God. Because you will get more than money there. In the house of God, you will find strength. They go from strength to strength. As many as appear before the Lord in Zion. Have you been edified tonight? 
so please go back and kill that laxity take responsibility over your spiritual life please understand that every time you appear before God you are not good doing God a favor you are not doing a man of God a favor I tell you sincerely <clears throat> it is for your own benefit Bishop David Oedipo would tell us that every Thing, command God gives man it is entirely for his own benefit not for God's benefit make up your mind the house of God make up your mind to engage the Word of God learn sit down be a student of Scripture let your knowledge not just be Sunday after Sunday you can go to the the, uh, the YouTube page and there are so many teachings camp with them you hear the testimonies of people here they will tell you I sat with this message some of you if we give you a recommendation of teachings listen to this add this to it like a doctor's prescription you usually would go because we live in a generation where we want instant sharp sharp anything that is lasting is subject to the law of time god wants you to be built he doesn't want to throw you up so that you come back in shame he wants to build you like an edifice in the name of jesus i decree and declare every spirit fighting your spiritual growth fighting your passion for the house of god fast, uh, fighting anything god in your life i command it to give way finally this night i command it to give way finally this night i command it to give way finally this night hear me and any association around your life that makes god look like a burden and a luggage either because of westernization or because some kind of deception of hell i separate you from those associations some of you the moment you lie down to pray is the heat of the sun that wakes you you don't have the sensitivity to wake up even when the holy spirit is beckoning on you wake up it doesn't have to be that there is until there is danger waking up to pray is part of your spiritual growth routine you must discipline yourself prayer is not about being passionate you don't bath because you are always happy to do it you don't eat just there are times you don't even want to eat but you have to eat for your health he spake a parable that men ought always to pray and not to faint please kill that laxity don't say apostle spoke over my life the demon will run away build stature build power in the secret place there are many of us easy things are still hard because you are still a child shake off certain limitations some spirits should not be disturbing you again because of the excellency of the fire that emanates from your life the same strategy satan used in your life two years ago and defeated you hands down he's still coming with it again and you've not grown enough to detect it Abba. the spirit of understanding understanding of scripture an understanding of the ways of God in the name of Jesus may it rest upon you now high-level spiritual understanding I impart that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the grace to fight ignorance ignorance of the ways of God ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom I declare that grace released upon you now The grace that will allow the word of God transform you, transform your speaking, transform your lifestyle, transform your appearance, transform everything about your life. May that grace rest upon you now. And hear me, everywhere you have been living a defeated life, kings are known for excellence there is an aura of victory always around them there are kings who slay themselves when they find out that their kingdom their treasures everything has been taken they literally kill themselves because they feel there is nothing there again can i tell you this for any one of you who 
does not have the evidences around your life that should validate that you are a priest and a king in the name of jesus i declare over you may the lord supply those evidences lavishly shame and reproach i drive it far from your life 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 in the name of jesus let the spirit of power rest upon you let the spirit of wisdom rest upon you let the spirit of might rest upon you let honor rest upon you let the grace for favor rest upon you the grace that attracts resources let it let it rest upon you in the name of jesus christ i'm saying it from the depth of my spirit may this grace that makes for honor let it rest upon you may this grace that makes for favor let it rest upon you you are a distinguished people and when you step out everybody will know that you are Beulah and Hephzibah like that garden that the Lord has blessed let there be results to your Christian experience I forbid a frustrated Christian life I'm not ashamed to bless you all wise if you need a car I release it in your life if you need a house I release it in your life if you need a job I release it to your life in addition to your spiritual growth I prophesy upon your life everything that will make you comfortable to serve the Lord I stand upon this altar I declare may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and for those of you here who are in ministry and you're not getting the kind of results you should get in the name of Jesus from this night barrenness in ministry comes to an end you have tried to open a door for a long time and that door has refused to open I break that door now help them please I break that door now listen a door is a system for access it midwives one room and another it midwives one dimension and another when that system for access is closed you can weary yourself at the door and praying again every door that has refused to allow you go forward i stand by the god of heaven let that door be broken now believe it i'm placing something on your life may that door be broken now hear me and for those of you who god gave opportunities and you misuse the opportunities is there hope for a tree i want to tell you that you are in a kingdom where god can restore i prophesy to you in the name of jesus everything that left your life either through carelessness or demonic attack or lack of discernment or abuse and misuse by the prophetic i call it forth to your life now I call it back to your life now every troublemaker in your life not allowing you sleep not allowing you rise who goes to your destiny helpers before you arrive there manipulating them to reject you in the name of Jesus I caught you away from them And everybody who asks you where is the evidence of your being a Christian this week may my God start answering them not next week this week may my God start answering them oh may the mighty God arise for you arise for your children arise for your family
let me pray for those in government leaders and politicians in this house i'm not ashamed to pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus may my god distinguish you i place an anointing upon you may god distinguish you in a way that will surprise you captains of industry may my god distinguish you businessmen may god distinguish you career people may god distinguish you you will become strange men and women of influence whatever makes resources run away from you i stand by the power of the prophetic and i declare over your life anywhere your resources are across the globe not just in nigeria the wisdom the favor and the stamina to attract those resources i decree and declare receive the grace for it now everybody who came here from outside this state or from outside this nation i stretch my hands to you in the name of jesus may the god of sudden visitations the one who can give you a consolation for your sacrifice may he visit you tonight 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 not tomorrow help that lady tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ you hear me i pray for our online family all those connecting from diaspora the thousands of people and potentially millions whether you are watching by way of a rebroadcast you are following live by television or by internet i speak over your life receive it by faith wherever you are may the lord turn your life around may the lord change your story may you know him more may your christian experience carry results in the name of jesus christ final prayer the kind of anointing that must rest on you and cause everything around you to blossom it says until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest may that anointing rest upon you now grace for signs and wonders supernatural manifestations exploits by the spirit creation will answer to you everything will answer to you help that lady animate and inanimate things in the name of jesus can i tell you this listen i don't stand to brag before you but i assure you by god there is nothing i call that does not come i stand by this grace and i declare everything you have called and has refused to come i push it by prophecy it must obey your call opportunity dimensions resources receive it in the name of jesus wave your hands to jesus give him praise father we honor you and we thank you wave your hands to jesus from side to side let him know that you have received thank you jesus the bible says with pray with thanksgiving with thanksgiving thank you jesus you will return into a realm of strange testimonies some of you may not know what has come on your life no you didn't come to church with what is on you now i assure you by god no matter how anointed you are i am telling you what is on you now you didn't come to church with it you are carrying back something upon your life that you did not come to church with in the name of jesus name of jesus name of jesus investment on them a total waste a vessel that is close no matter how large cannot receive a vessel that is small no matter how willing cannot receive more than its capacity hallelujah so i like you right where you are to begin to pray in the spirit i like you to see your ministry as you are praying stepping into another level i like you to see the mandate god has placed upon your life stepping into another level whether you are at the back whether you are in front it does not matter i like you to see your music ministry being part of the cutting edge tools that God will use in this end time. 
I like you to see the prophetic mandate that is upon your life that perhaps is at its infancy fan to flames to dimensions where it can serve the purposes of God across nations someone is praying Please pray, just a few minutes in the spirit. I'd like you to see your bishopric as far as the end time program of God is concerned, being secured and preserved by your passion and determination.
say that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight, every sin and every weight, and then to run with perseverance a race that is set before us. In the name of Jesus 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 now please listen before you sit down the Lord just opened my eyes to see something don't sing but as I raise the song please bring all the people out under the anointing God is doing something very very mighty you are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are powerful, so powerful in your way. You are awesome, so awesome in your ways. Just bring them out under the anointing. You are powerful. So powerful in your ways. Oh, that's that our woman. Just a moment. You are powerful. So powerful in your ways. There is a spirit of glory that is resting upon people. Your ministry and your life will not be the same. Not this night. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. Dear prophet of God, there is a clarion call upon your destiny. Yahweh, Yahweh. You are glorious, Shalabada Gata Fresca de Belegatos, Cabran de Cabarato, Sadia da Balada Balada. You are mighty, so mighty in your ways. There is an ignition of fire. You'll be seated shortly, but this is what God is doing, and this is the instruction He gave me. Young and old alike, it's an outpouring of the Spirit upon you. You are powerful so powerful in your ways you are powerful powerful so powerful in your ways oil is being poured upon the destinies of men not just their heads the destinies of men you are powerful please bring them out so powerful in your ways you are mighty, so mighty in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. You can be dangerous, so dangerous in your ways. Shall I get it? Oh. Oh, 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 Shalakatabraskatabakatoskabrandekabaratusyata. Ha 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 ha
I'm hearing the word selected and appointed for a time as this. There are people you have been selected by God. That unction is coming upon you right now. Selected for your families. Selected for your regions. Some you've seen it in dreams. Others in visions. But this is a night. Here in Abel Kuta, that mantle of your destiny is locating you. Bring them out. Hey, Shaneke Skadiata. Selected and appointed for a time as this. Others for a generation. Others, the Josephs of the family. Young and old, male or female, the spirit of grace, selected and appointed. There are people, there are mantles upon you. You do not even know God is bringing you out by His Spirit. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. Hear me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are people here. A spiritual season is coming to an end in your life, and another one is opening up. It's, it's a new level of grace and a new level of fire. For some, you are ministers of the gospel. God brought you here because Abata Shadabata. There is a dimension of grace. Ministers of the gospel. I'm hearing this particularly for preachers. People who are ministers of the gospel. The mantle that has been looking for you. I direct it to you. I direct it to you. Male and female. Access that mantle. In the name of Jesus. Access that mantle. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen. When we call people out like this, it is not just for show, just to see people littered on the ground. No. There is something that God is doing. I stretch my hands towards all those in front in the name of Jesus the levels in the spirit that you should enter for the sake of your destiny and your assignment we command vistas to be open now by apostolic authority I decree in the name of Jesus in the name that is above all names I call upon he who has the key of David may that new realm and dimension be open for you in the name of Jesus let it be open for you. Let it be open for you. In Jesus' name. 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 Please. Please. As much as those who can go back to their seats in front, I want them to go because I want to make another call. Please sit down if you can. Please sit down if you can. Be very sensitive whether I saw so many people at the back. Doesn't matter which... You know whether you are at the the, um, the canopy or any other place i want you to be very sensitive i had a brief time of prayer there is another set of people i'm going to ask to come out those if, if they cannot stand up just leave them please don't force them now listen please one of the mantles that god is restoring in this conference i had a vision and it was the vision of the transfiguration and i saw moses and elijah there are two types of the prophetic the prophetic ministry that will be activated in this end time moses was a prophet elijah was a prophet but the administration of their offices were not the same 
are we together all of them were mandated to preserve the purposes of God in a generation Elijah preserved from Jezebel and Ahab Moses preserved from Pharaoh and all of them required signs and wonders it was a mantle and a rod that helped them to preserve the purposes of God God is restoring an ancient prophetic heritage please hear me I'm speaking to you by the spirit many grandfathers some of you come from physical paternal families that carry the heritage of the prophetic but because you are dull of seeing and your ears do not hear they just told you a story that your grandfather was part of those who would visit this man at the campground and you have been having visions of these experiences one of the mandates tonight is to stir up particularly this prophetic dimension again we need it not just for show don't be afraid of the prophetic because of the little abuses here there is going to be a stirring a stirring of that prophetic mantle for some of you that mantle has been hovering around whole families and everybody has rejected it everybody has rejected it i pray that you are not the one to reject it tonight yeah. hallelujah now i'm going to pray the moment i make this call my apologies if if i don't have the time to teach it's a miracle service healing is something we can do in 10 minutes these are superior levels of spiritual activations that strengthen God's people and make the program of God efficient. For those people, I want to by the anointing to bring them out right now. There is a restoration of the prophetic. God wants to have these prophetic representations across families and regions. I stretch my hands right now upon everyone that has been assigned in God's program and prophetic schedule to carry this mantle whether you are aware or not at the count of three in the name that is above all names whether you are seated or standing may that mantle search you out right now I release that grace carry that mantle right now male and female bring them out preachers businessmen that mantle of the prophetic in the order of Moses and Elijah coming upon your life please help that lady some of you have been faithful in certain seasons God has subjected you through certain seasons and you have been faithful now a new order of grace that prophetic only the prophetic that's what God is ministering to people on now I stretch my hands yet again from the back to the front there may be someone no one is seeing you but the all-seeing eye of the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may that grace find you right now please bring them out may that grace find you right now May that grace find you right now. David was in the wilderness and the anointing still found him. Holy, holy, blessed is he comes in the name of our God holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God 
Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Father, all of these prophetic graces you are staring. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they will go through the seasons of training faithfully and they will find their place in your prophetic program. I activate those graces now. I activate those graces now. The seeing eye and the hearing ear. I activate those graces now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I activate those graces now. When Joel stood in Acts, in, when Peter stood in Acts chapter 2, he said, this is that which was prophesied by Joel the prophet that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, not some, all flesh. Hallelujah. The spirit of prayer and intercession as a mantle is coming on certain people right now. Father, I don't know where these people are, but in the name of Jesus, as touching your program, not only in Abel Kuta, not only in the Southwest, but even in partnership with what you are doing across the globe, may that mantle of prayer and prophetic intercession let it rest upon you now let it rest upon you let it rest upon you now not just young people even elderly people you will see mothers in their 50s 60s 70s traveling for hours by the energy of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of prayer and intercession is resting upon you right where you are. Because you need to build capacity for that which God is committing to your life and your destiny. My last prayer for this session, please listen carefully. I'm only ministering as the Spirit of God is ministering to me. There are many of you that are going to be delivered right now from the spirit of error. Please hear me. There is the spirit of error. The spirit of error only activate, is activated when it finds zeal. You can have zeal. But the spirit of error can lead a man into something that may seem to have a semblance of godliness. But you will later find out whether it's your prophetic pursuit, whether it's ministerial pursuit. There is a path, the Bible says, a way that seemeth right unto a man, unto a man of God, unto a prophet, unto an apostle. In the name of Jesus, any man any church, any prayer group, any platform that is under attack from the spirit of error, I decree and declare right now, in this crusade, I command that spirit and that influence to live your destiny now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the last days some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. There are people today whose entire spiritual construct was founded on spirits of error. It does not mean the people are bad. You can have a vision. Many people's lives have been confused today because of spirits that carry a semblance of the Holy Spirit and give mandates and assignments 
the more you are obedient to that mandate the more it is misleading you and others there is no righteousness and there is no green pasture in that kind of obedience I'm praying again false dreams lying visions go and read it in the Bible Peter thought he was under the influence of the Spirit of God when he was trying to rebuke Jesus from dying and Jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me Satan for Peter Satan has desired to sift you like wheat he said but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not he says and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren there are many of you the prophetic inclinations you are delving into you may delve from a sincere heart but it's not being sponsored by the Spirit of God including a semblance of healing mantles there are people who have gone to fast and pray and came back with experiences that carry a semblance of spirituality but when we gauge them against the integrity of God's Word we find it wanting on many counts again I'm praying the spirit of error that is creeping into your Bible study life creeping into your prayer life taking advantage of your zeal and hunger for God and for spiritual things I command that devil of error to leave you now for in Jesus mighty name we pray please be seated God bless you please be seated God bless you these are the kinds of meetings that make people and preserve the program of God for the next 10 20 30 years if Christ tarries let me charge our hearts tonight as I'm speaking the Holy Ghost is going to be giving people specific instructions about your own life and about your own ministry please make sure your ears are open to hear both as you are hearing this man of God speak in the midst of the things I'm saying the Spirit of God is also going to be speaking I wish I had a little fan around me I'm sweating up and down please if you can find a fan for me just to help encourage me while I'm here may God bless you even if it's from a distance don't don't um, please make sure that you don't take from that which is on our fathers yes anywhere just something to help thank you sir but what happens to them now please let's let's Hallelujah. Tonight I want to charge our hearts finally and then we'll pray. You have received many things in the course of this conference. Thank you. I think this is fine. If this becomes too close, it will affect the sound quality. So that's fine. You can return it back. This is fine. Maybe you can replace that one there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. I had the name Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. You are wearing, you are wearing a headgear that is like um, baby pink. Rebecca. Rebecca. Is there someone like that? Please verify. Come. What's your name? No, let them come up. I'll just speak over your life. Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. I'm stretching my hands towards you. Yet the person the power of God is falling on is right in the crowd there. Please bring that person.
the power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw oil coming on one of you now. When that happens, then I will speak over the rest. But among you people, the power of God is coming on one person right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new season and there is a deliverer that is arising. I had that name, Rebecca. Every weakness in the name of Jesus, of the flesh, that is not giving you room to access spiritual things. I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free right now. What he says to one, he says to all, be set free right now. Be set free right now. Abiodun. Who is Abiodun? Abiodun. Please don't come out carelessly just because let's make sure so we don't make this place rowdy. Abiodun, not your father's name, your name. Abiodun. Hallelujah. Now listen, this is serious. Please hear me. I saw light just leave God's servant, Pastor Shola, up. And then it was just roaming around. And it, it is looking for somebody with the same name. Your name is Olu Shola. Is it Olu Shola or something like is there some is that, is that it in it? Or is it Olu or, or, or De Shola or something like that? I know there is Shola in the name. I saw that light just went up and like hovering around because there will be a replica of this kind of Abel Kuta believers meeting beginning from this year God is going to stand it will be in other parts of Abel Kuta believe me it may not be called ABM but an anointing this night is coming on people with mandates you will go to regions and start putting together meetings like this that will start filing God's army for the next season. And I'm saying this because some of you, even as pastors, as a ministerial couple, that mandate will come upon you and God will say, I'm trusting you, trusting you, trusting you. Be all the glory. Hallelujah. Look at this. Listen, listen. Do you know why I decided to ask them to come out? There is something that happens to you when the word becomes flesh. It's one thing to hear. The Bible says in Acts chapter 8, it says verse 5, that Philip went down to Samaria and there he preached Christ unto them. Then the next verse says the people in one accord, they gave heed to the things that he spake, seeing, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Hearing and seeing. Look at this. Everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Come out. Mama, please come up here. If you are not married, go back, please. Except if you are standing for someone. If you are trusting God, we are, res we are responsible people. So let me say it up front. This, this world today needs clarification over everything. You have to keep explaining and explaining. Let's celebrate them as they come. Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? Creator of say, what can't you do? Hold on. Why are this many people coming out? For yourselves? For your loved ones? Okay, this is what will happen. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, please. I'm going, if you are coming out for any other person, just wait where you are. You don't have to come out. If not, we'll crowd this place. Remember, we need to finish on time. Hallelujah. Now, here's what will happen. I decree and declare that God will give you your own testimony. But now, may I request those who are standing for themselves, please remain. And then for the rest, go back rejoicing. Please, please, let's just obey instructions as God will grant us grace. You can't receive in disobedience in the name of Jesus Christ.
if you are standing for someone don't worry just go back and trust God for a miracle remember the centurion he said you don't need to come to my house speak the word only this one is because God has instructed now let me tell you the truth please hear me by the privilege of God's grace I've had the honor of living in the reality of these kinds of miracles in the lives of people across the globe and I say this with humility I can tell you the truth I understand something small about the miracle of fruitfulness I may not know everything but there are some things that I understand I'm going to pray for you and I want you to believe God and open up your heart I'm joining my faith with every man of God that corporate grace we're agreeing as the vessels of God that everything that has brought reproach to you hallelujah here is the word that I want to declare unto you Genesis 21 verse 1 the Bible says and God visited Sarah as he had said and God did unto Sarah as he has commanded in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands right now the spirit I want to rebuke the spirit first mama just be patient I'm going to bless this our beautiful baby in the name of Jesus Christ right now every spirit that is responsible for barrenness responsible for any kind of demonic thing I stand as one sent and in the company of men and women of God go now <laughs> womb that has been closed in the name of Jesus we command that womb to be open now regardless what the medical situation is madam the power of God is coming on you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree by this time next year may the Lord honor you with this same testimony For some of you, for the years you have waited, it's not only one child you will have. May God give you twins and even triplets. Help her please. Twins and triplets in the name of Jesus Christ. It was void, it was formless. It's the Greek word toku wabohu, confusion and chaos. Every time there was confusion, as we see in the Bible, it was the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. Don't discuss your confusion and tragedy and pain. Introduce him to hover over it. Because every time the Holy Ghost hovers over that unemployment, hovers over that family issue, there is about to be creation. This is what the Bible teaches. Even God did not speak till he verified the presence of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit was there, the Bible says, and God said. So before you say, verify that he is there, it is the union of his presence and your speaking that produces creation. Not just your speaking. Your speaking will be empty and barren, except the Holy Spirit leads the way. Lift your hands in one minute and thank God for tonight. Someone is praying. Pray in the Spirit. All the experience centers, those following online, go ahead and pray in the spirit. Hey, Pashala Kaparakos Katavraskadesh, Kepres Katebekatosh, Kari Paraska Fas Katebekas Kataba, Krata Kaparatos Katebelekos. Take a minute or two and invest in your destiny as you pray in the Holy Ghost. It says, But be ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith pray it in the holy ghost is someone praying in the spirit pray pray yourself in superior spiritual dimensions dimensions of power dimensions of grace dimensions of light dimensions of influence Ascend realms in the spirit. He said, Come up hither, and I will show you the things that will happen afterwards.
Please pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I take a minute to speak over those who are trusting God? I know that you've been prayed for, but I just want to, generally speaking, speak over your life, whether it's infirmity or any situation at all that has mocked God in your life. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace and deny There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Help me. Oh, may my... Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace and deny above. You're my father. Let me pray for you. The Holy Spirit is that powerful. The Holy Spirit is that powerful able to sponsor salvation even to the uttermost able to bring healing to your body able to rewrite the narrative of your life and your destiny and here at this conference we're trusting god to ascend heights in the spirit levels of grace even by the spirit zachariah said it is not by might it is not by power but it is by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 it says son of man stand up upon your feet and it did not have that power that energy verse 2 says and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare over every ministry here represented every business here represented every family here represented and every challenge here represented by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus find rest now find rest now find rest now find rest now in the name of jesus christ the bible says in genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 he says now abraham was old and well stricken in age he says and the lord had blessed him in all things all things all things not some things there was a man called naaman the captain of the syrian army the bible says he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous in the name of jesus everything that is antichrist everything that is anti-destiny roaming around your life i stand under the corporate anointing in agreement with every servant of god here represented and we decree and declare let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now, right now. in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah the bible says in revelation chapter 3 it says i am he that was dead and now is alive he said and i hold the keys the holder of the key of david the key of david is a mysterious possibility in the kingdom he says and by that key i open a door that no man can shut can i declare the opening of doors listen a door is an authorized point of access if someone comes into your house through the fence he's in your house but he's not welcome because your fence is not the authorized access point jesus said i am the door that is how important doors are but doors and gates can also be barriers they limit access when they are closed 
a door that is there is a potential for access doors midwife realms your kitchen your living room your bathroom they are separated by walls and separated by doors if you want to midwife or transit from one part of your house to the other you don't walk through the wall you walk through the door but how many of you know that as as powerful as you are you can misplace the key to your door and it can keep you outside for a long time can i declare the opening of doors in the name of jesus the son of the living god every door every gate before you that has remained closed i speak to it now a fata be open a fata be open career doors be open career doors be open family doors be open financial doors be open in the name of jesus christ son of man can these bones live again it says only down the west he said prophesy to these bones and tell them all oh bones hear ye the word of the lord that god will cause flesh and sinews to come upon you but the flesh was there but it was lifeless it says son of man call the four winds and say oh wind breathe upon this slain and they became an exceeding great army i declare let the wind of the spirit blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon everything dead in your life blow upon dead finances dead marriages dead wounds dead organs come back to life by the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for the sake of time I made a request in the morning we may not have the time to collate them but please lift your prayer requests and your expectation cards can I speak over them please if you have it if it's in an e-version just lift your phone or just stand by faith and for those who are connecting distance is no barrier at all all of the experience centers and then those who are connecting from across the globe this is how powerful God is hallelujah pray in the spirit in one minute a miracle is about to happen to you just do what I'm asking you to do Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known don't assume that he knows let your request be made known hallelujah hallelujah now keep it lifted please help them I'm about to pray for you and I please want you to believe I want you to believe I'm standing under the corporate anointing here and I want to speak over this creator of the universe what can't you do what can't you do Jesus creator of sake Keep your hands lifted Jesus told us that when the Spirit of God comes he will testify of him he does not have any agenda on his own except to reveal Jesus to reveal him as the way to reveal him as the truth and to reveal him as life everywhere you see the Holy Spirit his assignment is to reveal Jesus in his entirety I want to pray for you right now please believe believe in the name of Jesus take your mind away from the long-standing issues and let your attention be on Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead that every prayer request every expectation here lifted in the name of Jesus we turn it to testimonies now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ hear me for someone here is your prophetic word you will not see wind you will not see rain yet your valley shall be filled with water I decree it unto you you will not see wind you will not see rain but your valley shall be filled with water in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah for another person here you will experience the mystery of Aaron's rod that even though it is not connected to the earth it will still board I decree and declare you may not have any regular advantage but may the Holy Ghost be your advantage in your office may he be your advantage in Lagos in Abuja in Nigeria in Europe in America may he be your advantage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the lifeless body of Jesus is lying in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea and my Bible says if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead that if that same spirit resides hold on that means anywhere that dimension of the spirit is it raises whatever it rests on anything if it rests on a body it quickens the organs if it rests on finances it compels multiplication if that same spirit that spirit is a razor it does not leave anything at the level it met it if that same spirit I sense in my heart to declare over your finances please listen to me and don't allow anybody lie to you that is not important no there is a prophetic dimension to wealth wealth answers to value it answers to productivity it is true but there is a, a dimension of wealth that comes by the prophetic it says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper the prophet said by this time tomorrow there was no economic manipulation that would turn Samaria to a place of abundance in 24 hours but the prophetic and that by the spirit let me speak over someone's wilderness according to Isaiah 32 and verse 15 it says until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest everywhere there is drought even financially I command abundance now abundance through the ministry of mercy abundance through the gift of man in the name of Jesus Christ and for someone lifting your request I speak to you these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus my final declaration over your life dead prayer lives dead word study lives dead passion and appetite for the things of God it says that the fire upon the altar it must burn day and night for some of you you came for this conference it's a renewal conference for you because your prayer life until you came here was dead or dying word study life dead or dying passion for spiritual things dead or dying it doesn't matter what category by the spirit of the living God we fan your prayer life back to flames we fan your word study life back to flames we fan your passion for God for the things of God for the house of God back to flames in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus wave your hands to Jesus as an offering in faith believing it says what things soever ye believe 
when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them is someone saying thank you jesus thank you for the healing thank you for the new dimension thank you for the flight in the spirit for in jesus much less name we have prayed we have prayed we have prayed need to satisfy that hungry soul hallelujah praise the name of jesus praise the name of jesus let me pray for you if you believe that god is in a place you must know he's in a place it starts with believing but it does not end in believing it ends with manifestation if you believe god is all powerful it must show in your life if you believe god prospers somewhere in the journey of your life there should be a capture of the riches of god hallelujah man of god god is speaking to you that your ministry will be 10 times more impactful if it translates from a realm of sermons alone to a realm where the things that you communicate there is grace from heaven you can't fake this thing no dominion the ability to create and manifest the ability to correct and restore i'm saying this because that is what is happening to someone right now while you are standing for many of us creation is happening manifestation is happening when saul met with samuel samuel did not have to prophesy and say donkey return back the donkey knew what happened to him at that contact people bring in their atmospheres and there are possibilities that happen in certain atmospheres hallelujah my apologies for taking the time now let me pray no, don't lift your hands i will direct you on what to do hallelujah no shouting no saying anything please just stand i want to pray and these people that the power of god is coming on right now please listen carefully listen these two people or this these people not two people that the power of god is coming on i want to tell you why it is happening so you don't just fall and shout for nothing listen carefully the power of god is coming on these two people to do two things number one everybody the power of god is going to come on now is a sign that there is a prophetic mandate on your life for your family and for those who are looking up to you this is what god is telling me right now i declare by the authority of the kingdom men and women there is there is a mandate from the spirit oh that anointing will find you i assure you this is not this is wherever you are that means there is something help that protocol in the name of jesus christ there is a mandate upon your life oh you may not know it but it is so young and old male or female maybe no one has told you this this impartation and activation is already prophecy to your life that god has been saying i am waiting for you help them please no shouting let me just pray for you the ability to create and transport realities from the realm of the spirit and make it manifest here and now remember it's beyond falling down falling down is an elementary spiritual level very very elementary we're talking about the ability to be able to effect potent changes hallelujah number two i want you now to help those who will start running out please whether you are an usher or not i want you to help them because i've declared speed we're wrapping up but right now by the power of the holy spirit people will start running out now it is a grace for speed that is coming upon them help them please just bring them out gently you don't have to so they don't enjoy themselves Shabareketoski, please help them help that lady someone just hold her this is the place 
of encounter you to me what you want this is the place of surrender hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord i'm only acting as the spirit of god is revealing you will be surprised i'm still praying for speed that if there is any spirit that has tied people down that will not release you no you must go i'm saying it again may that grace for speed find you now find you now in the name of jesus i speak by the authority of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 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 now this set of people i'm praying for i want you to bring them out please very quickly i want you to bring them out the ones i'm about to pray for now i stretch my hands and i decree and declare the lord is telling me that there are spiritual graces and giftings that have been dormant within people and that fire is releasing you right now i want you to bring those people out i stretch my hands by the spirit of god in the name of jesus may that grace be activated it's long been there but prophecy is calling it forth please whether you are an usher or not help those under the anointing and you bring them out hallelujah please bring them out very quickly so we'll wrap up I activate it by the Spirit. Bring them out. No more weakness in the name of Jesus. No more weakness by the Spirit of God. No more weakness. What do you do, my friend? Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Drink of this well. May you be powerful. May you be great. No, no, you don't need to come. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May that hand rest upon you. Please help them help them in the name of jesus may that hand rest upon in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ over families i just saw like a dark cloud being lifted over families this is what i saw in the spirit right now that grace is coming on you a dark cloud from this night many people will begin to testify age-long situations I'm declaring it by the authority of the kingdom. I bring you power from the throne in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Families, that dark cloud, that siege that has sat on families, I declare be lifted, be lifted, be lifted over ministries, be lifted in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know this woman madam what do you do ah huh? just you ah huh? husband and, husband and wife hold your hands i saw light coming on both of you and the lord says that there are things here and there to adjust but he wants to help you can i pray for you i stretch my hands both of you receive that grace let it open you up to a new season in ministry in the name of jesus christ I decree it by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ I decree it by the spirit of grace now there are two gentlemen here you have been praying for the healing anointing I know there are many people but these are two people the Lord is showing me right now power is coming upon you from heaven is a dimension of the healing ministry you know one of the ministries God is restoring before he returns is the healing ministry I submit to you that we have lost the healing ministry in the body of Christ there are pockets here and there but there are people who will be an embodiment of the healing power of Jesus I don't know where those two people are but in the name of Jesus I decree and declare may the hand of the Lord rest upon you right now rest upon you right now let there be a stirring from your spirit man capacity to heal nations bring healing to the nations healing to the nations healing to the nations 
I'm saying it. I quicken your spirit, man. Healing to the nations. You will carry that healing mantle from state to state, from city to city. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have to wrap up please hear me whatever it will take tomorrow let me encourage you if it means bringing the entire river state if there is no space if it means to sit on the roof like they did in the bible please stay there tomorrow i'm going to take time to minister i want to show you the systems of dominion i give you a guarantee by the intelligence and the integrity of scripture that your life will shift in a way that will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ you know a man of God in this city who is hungry and whose heart is open for a change please invite them to come this is no longer just a house on the rock program it is God visiting a territory do not allow someone's hunger to go and thirst to go unquenched hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. I just saw a crown fall on the ground. And the Lord is saying, let that crown be restored back. Listen, your crown is a symbol of your authority. And for some reason, there are people you have lost it. The level of glory that was once in your life. Right now, your life is as though it's Ichabod things have just people look at you and it's almost like you're a memorial people just say my god i used to know days when this man was like this can i speak over your life before we wrap up the same vision i saw i saw the crown fall but god is able to put it back right now i decree and declare Embracatos, help them please i stand by the power of the word of god and the ministry of the prophetic help that man please in the name of jesus let your crown be restored now your bishopric i decree and declare let it be restored your relevance in portacot your relevance in the south south in the name of jesus your place in life and destiny i decree and i command let your crown be back to your head oh king oh royalty in the name of jesus christ father we thank you for tonight we decree and declare by the spirit of the living god thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media